The Quran, a complete revelation, translated and read by Sam Gerrans. The path is but against those who ask leave of thee when they are sufficient, content to be with those who remain, and their hearts are sealed, so they understand not. They make excuses to you when you return to them. Say thou, make not excuses, we do not believe you. God has informed us of your assertions, and God and his messenger will see your deeds. Then will you be brought back to him who knows the unseen and the seen, and he will tell you what you did. They will swear by God to you when you return to them that you might let them be. So let them be. They are abomination, and their habitation is hell as reward for what they earn. They swear to you so that you might be pleased with them, and though you be pleased with them, God is not pleased with the wantonly perfidious people. The Arabs are stronger in denial and wavering, and more likely not to know the limits of what God has sent down upon his messenger, and God is knowing wise. And among the Arabs is he who takes what he spends as a liability and awaits reversals for you. For them is an evil reversal, and God is hearing, knowing. And among the Arabs is he who believes in God and the last day, and takes what he spends as a means of nearness to God and the duties of the messenger. In truth. It is a means of nearness for them. God will make them enter into his mercy. God is forgiving, merciful. And the first vanguard among the emigres, and the helpers, and those who followed them in good conduct, God is pleased with them, and they pleased with him. And he has prepared for them gardens beneath which rivers flow, they abiding eternally therein forever. That is the tremendous achievement. And among those around you, among the Arabs, are waverers, and among the people of the town. They persist in wavering. Thou knowest them not. We know them. We will punish them twice. Then will they be sent back to a tremendous punishment. And others admitted their transgressions. They mixed a righteous deed and another of evil. It may be that God will relent towards them. God is forgiving, merciful. Take thou charity of their wealth to cleanse them and to increase them in purity thereby. And perform thou the duty befitting them. Thy duty is an assuagement for them. And God is hearing, knowing. Know they not that God, he it is who accepts the repentance from his servants and takes the charity, and that God, he is the receptive, the merciful. And say thou, act. God will see your actions, as will his messenger and the believers and you will be sent back to the Noah of the unseen and the seen, and he will tell you what you did. And others are deferred unto the command of God, whether he will punish them or will forgive them, and God is knowing, wise. As are those who took a place of worship as harm and denial and division among the believers, and as lookouts for those who warred against God and his messenger before, and they will swear, we purposed only good, but God bears witness that they are liars. Stand thou not within it ever. A place of worship founded upon prudent fear from the first day has more right that thou stand within it, wherein are men who love to purify themselves. And God loves those who purify themselves.
Is then he who founded his building on prudent fear of God and his good pleasure better, or he who founded his building on the edge of a collapsing cliff, so it collapsed with him into the fire of hell? And God guides not the wrongdoing people. Their building which they built will never cease to be a doubt in their hearts, save that their hearts be cut off. And God is knowing wise. God has bought from the believers their lives and their wealth. For that, the garden is theirs. They fight for the cause of God, killing and being killed. A promise binding upon him in the Torah and the Gospel and the Quran. And who better fulfills his pledge than God? Rejoice then in your bargain that you have contracted with him. And that is the tremendous achievement. The repentant, the serving, those praising, those journeying, the lowly, those submitting, those enjoining what is fitting, and those forbidding perversity, and the keepers of the limits of God, ellipsis, these are the believers. To continue, and bear thou glad tidings to the believers. It is not for the prophet and those who heed warning to pray for forgiveness for the idolaters, though they be relatives, after it has become clear to them that they are the companions of hell. And the request for forgiveness of Ibrahim for his father was only because of a promise he had promised him. But when it had become clear to him that he was an enemy to God, he acquitted himself of him. Ibrahim was compassionate, forbearing. And God sends not a people astray after he has guided them, until he makes plain to them of what they should be in prudent fear. God knows all things. God to him belongs the dominion of the heavens and the earth. He gives life and gives death. And you have besides God neither ally nor helper. God turned towards the prophet and the emigres and the helpers who followed him in the hour of hardship, after the hearts of some of them had almost deviated, then turned he towards them, he is to them kind, merciful, and towards the three who were left behind. When the earth had become straitened for them, vast as it was, and their souls had become straitened for them, and they thought that there was no refuge from God save to him, then turned he towards them, that they might turn. God, he is the receptive the merciful. O oh, you who heed warning, be in prudent fear of God, and be with the truthful. It is not for the people of the town and those around them of the Arabs to lag behind the messenger of God, and prefer their lives to his life, because there befalls them neither thirst nor fatigue nor hunger for the cause of God, nor take they any step that angers the atheists, nor achieve they against the enemy any attainment, save that it is recorded for them as a righteous deed. God suffers not to be lost the reward of the doers of good, nor spend they any sum, small or great, nor cross they a valley, save that it is recorded for them, that God might reward them for the best of what they did. And it is not for the believers to go forth all at once. And were it not that from every party among them there should go forth a number to gain knowledge in the doctrine and to warn their people when they return to them that they might beware. Ellipsis. You might all die on the battlefield and the faith die with you. To continue. O oh, you who heed warning. Fight those of the atheists who are close to you, and let them find harshness in you, 
and know that God is with those of prudent fear. And when a surah is sent down, among them is he who says, Which of you has this increased in faith? Then, as for those who heed warning, it increases them in faith, and they rejoice. And as for those in whose hearts is disease, it adds abomination to their abomination, and they die while they are spurners of guidance, while claiming virtue. See they not that they are subjected to means of denial once or twice every year, then do they turn not in repentance, nor do they take heed. And when a surah is sent down, they look at each other, Does any one see you? Then they turn away. God turned away their hearts, because they are a people who understand not. There has come to you a messenger from among yourselves. Mighty upon him is what grieves you, one concerned for you, to the believers, kind, merciful. Then, if they turn away, say thou, God suffices me. There is no God save he. In him have I placed my trust, and he is Lord of the tremendous throne. Chapter 10 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. Alif Lam Ra Those are the proofs of the wise law. Is it a wonder to men that we have instructed a man among them, Warn thou men, and bear thou glad tidings to those who heed warning, that they have a high standing in the sight of their Lord? Those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue say, This is an obvious sorcerer. Your Lord is God, who created the heavens and the earth in six days, then took his place upon the throne. He directs the matter. There is no intercessor, save by his permission. That is God, your Lord. So serve him. Will you then not take heed? Unto him is your return altogether. The promise of God is true. He begins creation, then he repeats it, that he might reward those who heed warning and do deeds of righteousness with equity. And those who are indifferent to warning have a scolding liquid and a painful punishment because of what they denied. He it is who made the sun an illumination and the moon a light and decreed for it stations that you might know the number of years and the reckoning. God created that only aright. He sets out and details the proofs for people who know. In the alternation of night and day, and what God created in the heavens and the earth, are proofs for people who are in prudent fear. Those who look not to the meeting with us, but desire the life of this world, and are at rest therein, and those who are heedless of our proofs, these, their habitation is hell for what they earned. Those who heed warning and do deeds of righteousness, their Lord guides them by their faith. There will flow beneath them rivers in the gardens of bliss. Their supplication therein will be, Glory be unto thee, O God. And their greeting therein will be, Peace. And the end of their supplication will be, Praise belongs to God the Lord of all mankind. And had God hastened for men the ill as they would hasten the good, their term would have been concluded. Leave thou those who look not to the meeting with us wandering blindly in their inordinacy. And when affliction touches man, he calls to us on his side, or sitting, or standing. 
Then, when we remove his affliction from him, he passes by as though he had not called to us about an affliction which touched him. Thus is made fair to the committers of excess what they do. And we destroyed the generations before you when they did wrong, and their messengers came to them with clear evidence, but they were not to believe. Thus reward we the evil-doing people. Then we appointed you successors in the earth after them, that we might see how you do. And when our clear proofs are recited to them, those who look not to the meeting with us say, Bring thou a recitation other than this, or change thou it. Say thou, It is not for me to change it of my own accord. I follow only what I am instructed. I fear, if I should disobey my Lord, the punishment of a tremendous day. Say thou, had God willed, I would not have recited it to you, nor would he have made it known to you, and I tarried among you a lifetime before it. Will you then not use reason? Then who is more unjust than he who invents a lie about God or repudiates his proofs? The evil doers are not successful. And they serve besides God what neither harms them nor benefits them. And they say, These are our intercessors with God. Say thou, Would you inform God of what he knows not in the heavens or in the earth? Glory be unto him, and exalted is he above that to which they ascribe a partnership. And mankind was only one community, then they differed. And were it not that a word had gone before from thy Lord, it would have been concluded between them concerning that wherein they differ. And they say, Oh, that a proof were but sent down upon him from his Lord. Say thou, the unseen belongs to God. So wait, I am with you waiting. And when we cause men to taste mercy after affliction has touched them, then have they a scheme concerning our proofs. Say thou, God is swifter in scheme. Our messengers write down what you scheme. He it is who lets you travel in the land and the sea. When you have boarded ships and sailed by them with a good breeze and exalted thereat, a tempest wind came upon them, and the waves came to them from every side, and they thought they were encompassed by them. They called to God, sincere to him in doctrine, If thou deliver us from this, we will be among the grateful. Then when he delivered them, they rebelled in the earth without cause. O mankind, your sectarian zealotry is but against yourselves. An enjoyment of the life of this world, then, to us, is your return, and we will inform you of what you did. The example of the life of this world is but like the water we send down from the sky, and mingle with the plants of the earth, of which men and cattle eat. When the earth has taken her decoration and is made fair, and its people think they have mastery over it, there comes our command by night or by day, and we make it reaped as if it had not flourished the day before. Thus do we set out and detail the proofs for people who reflect. And God invites to the abode of peace, and guides whom he wills to a straight path, for those who do good is the best, and increase, and there will overshadow their faces neither parsimony nor disgrace. These are the companions of the garden wherein they abide eternally. And for those who earn evil is a reward for evil by the like thereof, and disgrace covers them. They have not against God any defender, as if their faces were covered with pieces of darkening night. These are the companions of the fire, wherein they abide eternally. 
and the day we will gather them all together. Then will we say to those who ascribe a partnership, your places, you and your partners, and we will separate them, and their partners will say, it was not us you served. God suffices us as a witness between us and you. We were of your service unaware. Thereupon will every soul prove what it did before, and they are returned to God, their benefactor, the truth, and strayed from them will be what they invented. Say thou, who provides for you from the sky and the earth? If he who owns the hearing and the sight, and he who brings forth the living from the dead, and brings forth the dead from the living, and who directs the matter, then will they say, God, then say thou, will you then not be in prudent fear? For that is God, your Lord, the truth. Then what is there after the truth, save error? How then are you diverted? Thus did the word of thy Lord become binding upon those who are wantonly perfidious, that they do not believe. Say thou, Is there among your partners one that begins creation, then repeats it? Say thou, God begins creation, then repeats it. How then are you deluded? Say thou, is there among your partners one that guides to the truth? Say thou, God guides to the truth. Does then he who guides to the truth have more right to be followed, or he who guides not, save he be guided? Then what ails you? How judge you? And most of them follow only assumption. Assumption suffices not anything against the truth. God knows what they do. And this Qur'an is not such as could be invented by one other than God, but is a confirmation of what is within its scope, and an exposition of the covenant about which there is no doubt, from the Lord of all mankind. If they say, he invented it. Say thou, bring a surah the like thereof, and call to whom you can besides God, if you be truthful. The truth is, they repudiate what they have not compassed in knowledge, and when interpretation thereof has not come to them, thus rejected those before them. See thou, how was the final outcome of the wrongdoers. And among them is he who believes in it, and among them is he who believes not in it. And thy Lord knows best the workers of corruption. And if they reject thee, say thou, to me be my work, and to you be your work. You are innocent of what I do, and I am innocent of what you do. And among them is he who listens to thee, Canst thou make the deaf to hear when they do not reason? And among them is he who looks towards thee. Canst thou guide the blind when they do not see? God wrongs not men in anything, but men wrong their souls. And the day he gathers them will be as though they had tarried only an hour of the day. They will recognize one another. Those will have lost who repudiated the meeting with God, and they were not rightly guided. And whether we let thee see something of what we promised them, or take thee, to us is their return. Then is God witness over what they do. And for every community is a messenger, and when their messenger comes, it will be concluded between them with equity and they will not be wronged. And they say, When is this promise, if you be truthful? Say thou, I have power to do myself neither harm nor benefit, save that God should will, for every community is a term. When their term arrives, then they will not defer an hour, nor 
will they advance? Say thou, have you considered, if his punishment come to you by night or by day, what is there of it the evil doers will seek to hasten? Then is it when it has befallen you that you will believe in it? Now, when you had sought to hasten it, then will it be said to those who do wrong, taste the punishment of eternity. Are you requited safe for what you earned? And they ask thee to inform them, is it true? Say thou, yea, by my Lord it is true, and you cannot escape. And were there for each soul that did wrong, all that is in the earth, it would seek to ransom itself thereby. And they cannot express the remorse when they see the punishment, and it is concluded between them with equity, and they will not be wronged. In truth, to God belongs what is in the heavens and what is in the earth. In truth, the promise of God is true, but most of them know not. He gives life and he gives death, and to him will you be returned. O mankind, there has come to you an exhortation from your Lord, a healing for what is in the breasts, and guidance and mercy for the believers. Say thou, at the bounty of God and at his mercy, at that let them exult. It is better than what they amass. Say thou, have you considered what God has sent down for you of provision, and you made thereof lawful and unlawful? Say thou, did God give you leave, or is it about God that you invent? And what will those who invent lies about God think on the day of resurrection? God is bountiful towards men, but most of them are not grateful. And thou art not engaged in a matter, and thou recitest not from it any recitation, and you do no deed, save that we are over you witnesses when you expound thereon. And there does not escape from thy Lord the weight of an atom in the earth or in the sky or less than that, or greater, save is in a clear decree. In truth, the allies of God, they need not fear, nor will they regret. Those who heed warning and are in prudent fear, for them are the glad tidings in the life of this world and in the hereafter. There is no changing the words of God, that is the tremendous achievement, and let not their speech grieve thee. Greatness belongs to God altogether. He is the hearing, the knowing. In truth, to God belongs whoso is in the heavens and whoso is in the earth, and nothing do they follow those who call to partners other than God. They follow only assumption and they tell only lies. He it is who made for you the night wherein to rest, and the sight-giving day, in that are proofs for people who hear. They say, God has taken a son. Glory be unto him. He is the free from need. To him belongs what is in the heavens and what is in the earth. You have no warrant for this. Do you ascribe to God what you know not? Say thou, those who invent lies about God will not succeed. An enjoyment in this world, then to us is their return. Then will we make them taste a severe punishment because of what they denied. And recite thou to them the report of Nuh, when he said to his people, O my people, if my station and my reminding you of the proofs of God be burdensome to you, then in God have I placed my trust. So gather your plan and your partners, 
Then let not your plan be a distress for you. Then move decisively against me and grant me no respite. And if you turn away, I have asked of you no reward. My reward is only upon God, and I am commanded to be among the submitted. And they rejected him. Then we delivered him and those with him in the ship, and made them successors, and we drowned those who repudiated our proofs. So see thou how was the final outcome of those who had been warned. Then, after him, raised we up messengers to their people. They brought them clear evidence, but they were not to believe in what they had repudiated before. Thus do we place a seal upon the hearts of the transgressors. Then raised we up after them Musa and Harun, before Firaun and his eminent ones, with our proofs. But they were proud, and they were an evil-doing people. And when the truth from our presence came to them, they said, This is obvious sorcery. Musa said, Do you say of the truth when it has come to you, Is this sorcery? But the sorcerers will not be successful. They said, Hast thou come to us to turn us away from that upon which we found our fathers, and that there be for you majesty in the land? And we do not believe you. And Firaun said, Bring to me every learned sorcerer. And when the sorcerers came, Musa said to them, Cast what you will cast. And when they had cast, Musa said, What you bring thereby is sorcery. God will make it vain. God makes not right the deeds of the workers of corruption. And God establishes the truth by his words, though the evildoers be averse. And there believed not Musa save a progeny of his people, for fear of Firaun and their eminent ones, that he would subject them to means of denial. And Firaun was exalted in the land, and he was of the committers of excess. And Musa said, O my people, if you believe in God, place your trust in him if you be submitted. And they said, In God do we place our trust. Our Lord, make thou not us a means of denial for the wrongdoing people, and deliver thou us by thy mercy from the people who spurn guidance while claiming virtue. And we instructed Musa and his brother, Settle your people in Misr, in houses, and make your houses a destination, and uphold the duty. And bear thou glad tidings to the believers. And Musa said, Our Lord, thou hast given Firaun and his eminent ones adornment and wealth in the life of this world. Our Lord, that they might lead astray from thy way. Our Lord, Destroy thou their wealth, and harden thou their hearts, so that they believe not until they see the painful punishment. He said, Your supplication has been heard, so keep to the straight path, and follow not the way of those who know not. And we brought the children of Israel across the sea, then Firaun followed them with his forces in sectarian zealotry and enmity. When the drowning had overtaken him, he said, I believe there is no God, save he in whom the children of Israel believe, and I am of the submitted. Now, when thou hadst opposed before and wast of the workers of corruption, then this day do we save thee in thy body, that thou be a proof for those after thee. But most among men are heedless of our proofs. And we settled the children of Israel in a settlement of dignity, and provided them some good things. Then they differed not until knowledge came to them. Thy Lord will judge between them on the day of resurrection concerning that wherein they differed. 
And if thou be in doubt concerning what we reveal to thee, then ask thou those who read the law before thee. The truth from thy Lord has come to thee, so be thou not of those who doubt, and be thou not of those who repudiate the proofs of God, for thou wouldst be among the losers. Those upon whom the word of thy Lord became binding, they did not believe. And though every proof came to them until they saw the painful punishment, ellipsis, they remained heedless to continue. Oh, that a city had but believed and profited by its faith, save the people of Yunus. When they believed, we removed from them the punishment of disgrace in the life of this world and gave them enjoyment for a time. And had thy Lord willed, whoso is in the earth would have believed altogether. Wouldst thou compel mankind to believe? And it is for a soul to believe only by God's leave. And he has appointed abomination for those who do not reason. Say thou, look at what is in the heavens and the earth. But the proofs and the warnings avail not a people who do not believe. Do they await save the like of the days of those who came and went before them? Say thou, wait. I am with you waiting. Then do we save our messengers and those who heed warning. Thus is it binding upon us to save the believers. Say thou, O mankind, should you be in doubt about my doctrine, I serve not those whom you serve besides God. But I serve God who will take you, and I am commanded to be of the believers, and set thou thy purpose towards the doctrine, inclining to truth, and be thou not of the idolaters, and call thou not rather than to God to what can neither profit thee nor harm thee. For if thou dost, thou art then of the wrongdoers. And if God should touch thee with affliction, there is none to remove it save he. And if he should desire good for thee, there is none to repel his bounty. He causes it to fall upon whom he wills of his servants. And he is the forgiving, the merciful. Say thou, O mankind, the truth has come to you from your Lord. And whoso is rightly guided... He is but rightly guided for his soul, and whoso strays, he but strays against it, and I am not a guardian over you. And follow thou what thou art instructed, and be thou patient until God judges, and he is the best of judges. Chapter 11 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. Alif Lam Ra. A decree, the proofs whereof are fortified, then set out and detailed, from one wise aware that you serve not save God. I am to you from him a warner and a bearer of glad tidings, and that you seek forgiveness of your Lord. Then turn to him. He causes you to enjoy a fair provision to a named term and he gives every bountiful one his bounty. But if you turn away, I fear for you the punishment of a great day. Unto God is your return, and he is powerful over all things. In truth, they fold over their breasts, that they might hide from him. Is it not that when they cover themselves with their garments, he knows what they keep secret and what they make known. He knows what is in the breasts. And among creatures in the earth, sustenance thereof is only upon God. And he knows their place and their repository. All is in a clear decree.